Hi guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile. I am also known as The Financial Bunny. Welcome to The Financial Bunny TV. This video is brought in partnership with Okta FX. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how do you actually make money on Forex trading. I'm going to do a couple of calculations so that you get an understanding of what Forex trading actually looks like. Now remember that nothing that I share on this channel constitutes as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody who is certified and registered with the FS. CA. So let's start with what it is that you're doing when you are trading Forex. So now one of the most important things to remember is that when you are going to be trading Forex, you are basically going to be trading what is called a currency pay. That means that you've got one currency going against another currency. This is very important because it shows you how you're going to make your money. This is why they say when it comes to Forex, you can either make your money whether your one currency is losing or the other currency is, let me maybe not use the word losing. Let's say if your one currency is declining or falling or the other currency is rising, it doesn't really matter because the speculation that you make on those two currencies is what's going to either make you money or you're going to lose money. So let's use the currency pair of the Tsar and the United States, right? So it's going to be USD versus the Tsar, right? So we're going to just have our own exchange rate. Of course, we're not using the exchange rate that the banks in South Africa and the banks in the United States are currently using. We're going to make up our own. So let's say for every one US dollar you make South Africa, you get 10 rand, right? So if you want to buy a US dollar, you need to pay 10 South African rands, right? Makes sense? Happiness, right? So let's say you decide that, okay, you have um, a thousand rand in your trading account. So you've got a thousand rand in this case, maybe using a trading account from OptiFX, right? So you've got a thousand rand in your trading account and you speculate. And I use the word speculate because remember when it comes to forex trading, you basically are making a forecast of what you think is going to happen. So let's say you say your speculation and you're putting in a trade that says that the United States dollar is going to rise or gain strength over the South African rand, which is the czar, right? And you then say, okay, I'm going to put a trade a, 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 a order of 800 rand, right? So basically you are taking from your 1000 rand, you are minusing 800 rand. And with the 800 rand, you are converting it into the United States dollar, right? So what will be 800 of uh, $1? It will be $80. So $80 will equal the 800 that you now have spent, right? So for you to be able to make a profit, this trade needs to get to a point where it becomes a profit. So the United States dollar needs to actually gain strength over the South African czar for you to be able to make a profit. So what does that actually mean? So let's assume that the United States dollar does gain strength. So your profits, your, your trade goes into the profit. And when it goes into the profit, it automatically closes the trade, right? So let's say the new exchange rate now is one United States dollar equals 11 South African rands. That means that against the South African rand, the dollar has actually gained strength. So it's actually risen, right? Or it's, it's gained momentum, as they love to say in the news, right? So now what you need to do is to change back your United States dollars into your South African rand. So you would take the $80 that you got from there, from that buy, and you would multiply it by the new exchange rate, which is 11 rand for $1, and you're going to get 880, right? Now, if you take the 880 and you add to the 200 that you've got here, remember, you are left with 200 in your trading account. It now means that your total trading balance is 1,080 rand, basically. So what is your actual profit? Your actual profit is only 80 rand right that's your profit now a lot of people will say yo uh, uh, but that's not a lot of money that i'm making there only 80 rand so how do you then actually increase your potential profit when it comes to forex trading it's a little thing called leverage what is leverage leverage basically means that you're going to borrow money from the actual broker. In this case, we're using Okta FX. So you're going to borrow some money from Okta FX to try and increase your potential profit. Let me show you an example where leverage is in action. 
action. All right. So we're speaking about leverage, right? Now, with fund brokers, you can actually leverage up to 500 times your actual funds that you've got in your bank, in your trading account, right? So let's assume that you are on the OctaFX platform and you want to leverage a certain uh, uh, instruction or a trading order. Let's go back to the initial example that we used earlier on, right? So you've got, again, you've got a thousand rand in your trading account, in your OctaFX account. That is how much you've got. You want to leverage at 500 times. So you, your leverage is one to 500, right? Which means that from OctaFX, you would need to borrow 499,000 rand, right? So you're going to be borrowing 499,000 rand, right? So now you're going to take the whole amount and you want to put in a trading order, right? So actually what you've got here is you've got 500,000 Rand that you can trade. So going back to the example that we used earlier on, the currency pay you're going to be trading again is the United States against the South African Rand, right? So again, written as USD versus the South African Rand. So let's go back again to the same example. We had said earlier on that one United States dollar gives you or is gives you 10 South African rands, or you can say the other way around. 10 South African rands give you one United States dollar. Now, what you're going to do is to take your 500,000 rand that you now have because you borrowed 499,000 rand from your broker, which is at this point Octa FX, and then you're going to turn it into the United States dollar, right? So essentially what you're going to be buying is 50,000 United States dollars, right? But at this point, it's still at 10 rand. Now you have to put in your trading uh, 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 speculation. So are you saying that the United States dollar is going to fall or are you saying it's going to gain momentum against the South African rand? So let's say it does gain momentum against the South African dollar, the South African rand, and that's the speculation that you are making, right? So you are saying the United States dollar is going to rise against the South African, or versus rather, the South African rand, right? Let's say, yes, you are correct again, luck is on your side and yes it does gain momentum and it goes to one united states dollar which will give you 11 south african rand or the other way around 11 south african rand give you one united states dollar so you now need to change your money back so you need to change your money back to the south african rand because that is your currency that you're using right so if you take 11 rand multiply by 50,000 rand you're going to get 550 south african rands right 550 south african rands will be what your money is going to end up being when you convert it back to south african rand so now you're going to take the 550,000 rand that you've now made from this trade and you're going to minus the amount of money that you borrowed from the broker. Remember, you borrowed money from the broker, so not the whole 550,000 rand is actually yours. So it's the 449,000 rand, and then you are left with 51,000 rand. But from this 51,000 rand, remember, you initially had a thousand rand in your bank account. So if you really want to see what your full profit is, you also need to subtract that 1,000 rand, and you are basically left with 50,000 rand profit from one single trade. Listen, I would love to make 50,000 Rand profit from literally only having 1,000 Rand in my bank account. And that is the beauty of leverage, is that you can potentially increase your potential returns when you use leverage. However, it is so important for you to understand that it can go the other way also, where you can potentially lose money. What does it look like when you lose money? So what does it look like when leverage works against you? So again, with the same example, you borrowed 499,000 Rand from your broker. You're leveraging at one to 500. So that means 500 times what you actually have. So let's look at it again. USD versus the South African Rand, right? USD versus the South African Rand. All right. Um, again, $1 equals 10 or is at 10 South African rands or the other way around 10 South African rands gives you one dollar right then you have converted your 500,000 into United States dollars you're going to get 50,000 United States dollars right that's how much you're going to get for this 500,000 rand at 10 rand per one dollar so then let's say you put in a, 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 a speculation and you say the United States dollar is going to gain momentum over the South African czar and then 
this something happens. They hire Nicolette Mashile as the Minister of Finance in South Africa. And boom, the South African rand gains momentum against the United States dollar. And the South African rand now goes to one United States dollar at nine rand. Hmm? Nine rand? You better hire me as your finance minister, right? So now we're sitting at one United States dollar at nine rand. So what happens is now you've got to take your 50,000 rand right for the 50,000 united states dollars and multiply it by the south african nine rand and how much do you get you get 450,000 rand right so it means that you get to 450,000 rand 50,000 us dollars multiplied by nine rand you get 450,000 rand what you are automatically starting to see is that you are low way low 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 below how much money you actually borrowed right so what happens is like a, a, a platform like Okta FX has what is called a negative balance protection. So it will take you to zero all the time. Why is to make sure that we don't find people who are trading forex owing forex brokers or forex trading brokers because let's be fair for you to be able to pay them back you can just abscond especially if you're using an international broker like octa fx you literally can just abscond so what a lot of um, uh, uh, um, um forex traders do is that they make sure that you never go into the balance so the moment the trade the exchange rate hits a point where you're going to make a loss the trade will close okay the trade will close and basically what is going to happen is you will close at a point where your balance is 499,000 rand. So then the forex trader closes the trade, they take their 499,000 rand and oopsie, remember you had a thousand rand, you lose that thousand rand. That's what people talk about when they talk about losing money in forex. It's because people get greedy and they over leverage without a good strategy make bad speculations and then the trade or the exchange rate goes below what they speculated or goes in the different direction of what they speculated and then the trade is forced to close because you're in a loss and then you lose your money the best way not to lose money is what you would do or what you would do to not lose money is put what is called a stop loss right a stop loss is exactly what the English word stop loss says, right? A stop loss is you putting in an instruction. It also happens that you can put a stop loss when you are trading stocks, right? The stock market. You put in a stop loss. It's an instruction of saying, once the exchange rate gets to a certain point where I'm going to start losing, please, 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 please automatically close the trade so that I at least preserve some of my money, right? That's basically what a stop loss is. And that's how you're going to make sure that you actually put in what is called risk management contingencies on your actual trading strategy to ensure that you don't lose money when it comes to forex. But it's a good thing that, you know, brokers like Okta FX have this, this negative balance protection because we don't want people to get to a point where they are now owing below or they're going to the negative balance and now they start owing forex brokers because then doomsday. <laughs> I hope that it helps you in understanding one way of making money when it comes to forex trading.